Here's part four, which you all have been waiting for. Here are pictures showing the diversity in black women's looks, as well as the hairstyles that we wear. Really beautiful hairstyles. Now I ask the question, who has a perm? So here are the answers. Who has the perm? Well, none of them do. The first girl is Ethiopian, and she just flat irons her hair to get the straight look. This girl is from Baldwin Hills. Her hair is natural. She simply flat ironed it. This is the model, Jordan, and, and this Kenya. Kenya, the famous Kenya, and more. None of them have a perm in their hair. Jordan Richardson, I think that's her name. She simply flat irons it. On the right is her natural hairstyle. Her natural hair texture. In another picture. The famous Kenya Moore does not use a perm and her hair is actually flat iron. In fact, I'm not 100% sure. I think that might be her natural texture. I'm not sure. Who has weave extensions? The answer, look at all these women. None. The first girl is Jamaican and Indian. That's her natural hair texture. That's all of hers. The second girl is actually a natural sister. She simply flat ironed her hair to achieve the straight look. There goes her hair again on the right. The frizz is a little gone. Leela James simply curled her hair. That's all her hair on the left. You wanted to know who has a weave? Both of them do. As you can see in the first picture, she has extensions in her hair. She probably had fusion done. That's Vivian Green. I think she looks much better with her hair short. Speaking of self-hatred, you know, I want to know, were the following celebrity women suffering from self-hatred? No one ever said that. And women in the everyday world dye their hair blonde. They're not accused of being self-haters. They're not ridiculed like black women. So, were they suffering from self-hatred? Tila Tequila is Vietnamese. She dyed her hair blonde. No one said anything about that. She also had blue contacts in before. No one said she was trying to be white. J-Lo dyed her hair blonde for a video. She wasn't accused of being a self-hater. No uproar there. Lindsay Lohan bleached her God-given freckles off of her face with bleaching cream at the doctor's office. She wasn't accused of being a self-hater. Kat DeLuna dyed her hair blonde. Nobody said nothing about that. You know, Lady Gaga had a nose job. Is that self-hatred? A lot of black men who have something against black women, they really love this couple. Like, this is like their ideal couple. And the thing is, Heidi Klum is not a natural blonde, and she wears extensions in her hair. Kim Kardashian has breast implants, a tan, a fake butt. Is she suffering from self-hatred? Was she, huh? Shakira, a nose job. She dyed her hair blonde. Is she a self-hater? What about her? Is she self-hater? Is she a self-hater when she wanted some cornrows and ethnic hairstyle? Was she a self-hater? This hairstyle that is popular in some parts of Japan. You know, I feel sorry for any aboriginal that comes to America. They're going to get teased. No one is going to want to believe that blonde hair came out of their head. Because that's how ignorant society is. They would accuse these people of bleaching their hair. It's crazy. Now, here's a picture of a girl I know. She's natural. That's all her hair. All of it. If she wants it straight, she just flat irons it. And she's not the only black girl walking around with all this hair. It's all hers. Look at it. And I've seen so many with hair just like that. So I hope people wake up and stop thinking that black girls do not have hair because that is complete bull crap. Okay? Now, here is more of what you missed before from the last video I couldn't finish saying. Um, I want to address the issue of people saying, well, you want to look like a white woman if you have a weave. I mean, like I said, you can't look like somebody for, because of hair. The only way you're going to resemble somebody is if your face, your features, if your features already resemble each other. That is the only way you can literally look like somebody. The hair is an added part to it. And here are some examples of exactly what I'm talking about. I know 
don't get what people always why does everything revolve around whiteness i mean people would say well it's straight hair like white women but asian hispanic some africans some Car caribbeans have straight hair i mean this is not a white race thing i mean there are a lot of people who are not white that have straight hair and the reason I brought up, you know, like I said to someone else, East Africans a lot, is because they completely destroy the stereotype. And there are even Caribbeans all over, even the Jamaican, all that stuff, that have straight hair. I mean, it's all over the world. That's all I'm saying. Okay. I think a lot of people assume because you wear a weave, extensions, whatever you want to call it, they're both technically the same exact thing. Um, they assume that you don't have hair. Um, listen, there are women with short hair that get it longer. There are women with medium length hair that get it longer. There are women with long hair that go get a weave to get it shorter because they don't want to cut off their hair and you actually can just go get a wig or a weave that's in a shortcut that you don't have to go cut off your real hair and do and I don't see anything crazy about that um, there are some women with cancer who don't want to go out there with their hair all gone and patches or who suffer from apopecia or something like that and they go get a wig because as a woman they don't feel comfortable looking like that um, some of them. Um, what other reasons? Style change. You know, I've seen some crazy hairstyles before that I just think was crazy, but that's what they liked. Um, diversity. You just like doing different things to your hair. Even, yes, and we have to be completely honest, there might be even some that just hate their own texture. You have a mixture it's not just one way you got everything going on um, hair dyeing you know these days you don't have to damage your real hair by putting the dye in it but you can get the track the weave whatever you call it with the color that you would like if you want highlights or something and you can get that put in you don't have to damage your own hair and do that some who Trent decide to transition when they're it can be hard it is hard when you first start they're not comfortable with the length and the way it's looking, so they might just do put a weave in or something until it's the length that they desire with their natural hair. I never did like it when some women see women who once they see their hair, let's say it is relaxed, but they have a lot of it, they say, well, you have hair, why are you wearing that? It's not about whether or not you have hair. It's about the preference for that week or month, you know? If she has hair down to her shoulders and she wears a weave, let's say to here, but girl, you have hair. But she clearly preferred it to be longer for that time. That doesn't mean anything. You know, you don't have to be halfway bald to wear a weave. And it doesn't mean that you wear it all the time. Basically, you get that there actually are a lot of different things you do with it. It is not about always self hatred. Um, I do think a lot of black women look great with natural hair. It is a choice that you make. I don't feel if you're natural you have to come down hard on other black women who are still who still desire to have their perm or who are just not ready yet. It is a choice that you make and we don't have the right to judge them so harshly. It is not easy for some women to let go of their hair. That is a reality. And like I said, black women, so many are so pretty. You look great anyway, whatever style you choose. When Chris Rock said, you know, men don't care about hair, we care about ass. 60% of that is true, the other half is not true. If that was the case, then why do they ask me the minute they talk to me on the phone, how long is your hair? Clearly, they, hair, they care about hair length. Clearly. There are a lot of things that's hypocritical in this society. And... If you're dating a girl because of her hair texture and length, I think you might have an issue going on with you. You might actually be the one with an issue.